everyone. I'm Jason McClure from Zometry. I'm head of quality and manufacturing here. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about workmanship and why it matters. A lot of customers are looking at your parts and they are looking at whether or not there are burrs on the parts, whether there's chatter on the parts, whether or not the tool paths have steps in them, whether or not the parts have nicks or chips or gouges in them. Um, a lot of times you can tell whether a part has been deburred by hand or in the machine. So why does this matter? Well, when a customer gets a part from you and the part generally does not look great, uh, they're not gonna be happy. They're building a product. They're gonna sell to the general public or to the military or maybe it goes in space. Um, and so, you know, when a part looks bad or it has gouges in it or nicks in it, uh, generally they're gonna look really hard at that part and they're gonna make sure that that part is really up to snuff and uh, hopefully the, the part is good enough that they can use it. Uh, a lot of times when you have nicks or chips in a part or you know a tool gouge, the part can't be used and so the part will then have to be made over. Uh, a lot of times when you have chatter on a part, we'll have to sand the chatter out or it'll have to go back for rework. So just taking an extra couple seconds to make a part that you're proud of and that has you know great workmanship and looks really well pays off because you don't have to potentially remake parts. The parts are generally making the customer happy so they want to buy more parts from you and uh, you know it's it's really about would you buy the part are you proud of the part that you're making when i say what a good part looks like versus what a bad part looks like uh, i have two parts here on the bench in front of me the part on the left came in and everybody thought it was beautiful. We ran it through QC, it passed with flying colors. Um, you can just generally tell that the machinist that made this test part really cares and this is the type of shop that we're looking for at Zometry. Um, the part on the right hand side came in and we're looking at it and we weren't real impressed. Um, you know, it went through QC, there were some minor non-conformances, nothing crazy, uh, but you could see where they had dull tooling. Uh, there were burrs rolled over in the lettering. There's some steps and missed blends. You can see chatter on the part, pretty bad over here. Um, you can feel the steps in between passes and generally very poor workmanship. We actually did show this one around a little bit, but this was more of a, we don't really think they're right for our network. It's a bad first impression. And generally, you know, if you're making a part, which one would you want to put your name on? I want to put my name on the good part that's beautiful and uh, customers are going to be impressed with over the just knock it out real quick and it doesn't look great all day long. Okay, let's talk about how to get better looking parts. The first step to getting better looking parts is having correct feeds and speeds. Uh, by doing this, it will save you money on tooling and your parts will come out looking better. Uh, the next step is tool lengths. Keeping your tool lengths short, uh, using stubby tools when you can, um, using holders that are shorter, keeping everything close to the spindle as possible. That way it stays rigid and you don't get any push away when you're cutting. Uh, the last thing is taking that finish pass on the part and making sure that when you're doing that, you are not cutting too fast, you're not being too aggressive, and you're only taking off a small amount of material, like 10 thousandths or less. Here at Zometry, we have a team of people called the Partner Tech Support Team. Uh, they are here to help you if you have any issues with feeds and speeds, if you need advice on tooling, if you're having trouble with tool paths. If you need help, contact the Partner Tech Support Team at partnertechsupport at zometry.com.